Hey y'all. So I got home today to another package from DHL. And it's kind of funny because I um I was at work yesterday and I got a text message that my package was out for delivery from DHL. And I was like, yay, I'm getting a dead day early. <laughs> So I came home right after my faculty meeting and um, the, the DHL van was about three driveways away from my house. It looks like it had passed my house and it was parked on the side of the road with the flashing, you know, emergency lights on. I guess she was figuring out where she was. And so I whipped into my driveway, right? <laughs> and I uh, just parked the car and I started walking down the road. <laughs> and well, I, she made a U-turn and was coming towards me. So I'm like, hey, you're looking for me. And when she got up to me, she slowed down and I was like, that driveway. <laughs> so she came and pulled into my driveway. And she started looking for my package. And she looked. And she looked. And she looked some more. And guess what was not in her van? <laughs> you got it. My package. Oh, I was so disappointed. I was thinking, yay, a day early. And then, eh, no. No. But it wasn't supposed to come till today. And she told me, she said, you know what, I'm going to. As I'm going to my next stop, I'm going to call the office and check to see where your package is. Well, obviously, when they took them out of whatever big transfer truck or whatever they have um, that comes to their little satellite office, warehouse, whatever it is, Obviously, they take it off and they scan it, to do their inventory to keep track of it. And then when they put it on the van to go out for delivery, they scan it and put it on the van. Well, how about they scanned my package, which is why I got the text message. But they scanned my package and put it on a table. Oh, so, but it's here now. Yay, it's here. But I wanted to show you, you know, um, I love the the packing paper. She always sends such pretty packing paper now. And I told you I was going to do something with that uh, paper that she wrapped up the last package with. Well, I covered my diamond painting inventory book with it. It's so pretty. I just wrapped it. I'm probably going to put some paper here and back here in the back. So, but, um, yeah, so it now wraps my inventory book. And I do have another, yes, I've started another inventory book. So this paper is so pretty. It's dark purple. And it has flowers on it. And I'm not a big pink person. But this is really, really pretty. I love the dark kind of purple background. So I'm hoping I can unwrap this carefully. There's not that much damage on the corner. So I'm pretty psyched about that. Maybe I can get it in one of these corners. It's kind of a little wear and tear. And open up. She packs it so well. <laughs> she packs so well. So. The cats are looking at me like I'm crazy. Oh, wow. I got in a different sticker this time. It says to Shelly Patterson. From. Dye Moon. And that's pretty. It has, oh, I'll show you in a minute. 
that has a bicycle on it. I've thought about getting a bicycle when I retire. Yes, I'm coming down to retirement. Two years, seven and a half months. Well, I should know. Two years, six and a half months now. But um, I'm counting it down. And I thought about getting me a bicycle when I retire. If I can find me a job close to my house. I'm just riding my bike. That would work. That would be so much fun, right? That would be a lot of fun. I think it would be fun. There is a place not too far from my house where I could go apply for a job. Oh, that is such a pretty purple. Really? <clears throat> there we go. Yes. Now you can really see the purple once you get the uh, once you get the wrapping off of it. And see, there's a bicycle. Yes, it takes so little to entertain me. <laughs> so. I'm going to carefully open this like my grandmother used to do. <laughs> Every time I open one of these, then I'm going to save the paper. It reminds me of my grandmother. Should I say, now save that. We can use it again. Save that. I can do with something with that. But her and my grandfather grew up during, I guess, the Depression. And I mean, my grandmother had a, <laughs> she had a drawer of aluminum foil. I'll never forget that drawer. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm picking at the paper. The tape. The tape. Trying not to tear the paper. Okay. And then I need to go over here. This package should have stars and a walk in it. And stars is, and the walk is the one that I pretty much stalked for a whole month till I got payday because um, <clears throat> it reminds me of how much I miss Sam. I'm gonna cry. I cannot talk about Samantha Jean. I tell you what. Um, Sam was my mutt dog. She was pretty much like a lab mix, I guess. And while I was going to school in Auburn, Alabama, at Auburn University. I know, I know, don't. <laughs> You'll get a good laugh out of this. I'm an Alabama fan who went to Auburn. But I always tell the kids, you can't choose your school that you go to because of the football team. I did not go to school for football. I went to school for an education. So, <clears throat> okay. I have removed the paper. And that will become the cover of my second diamond painting inventory box. So, I really like this. So, let's see. Because I ordered so many. I did. I ordered a lot. Ooh. And it's kind of a heavy box. It's really kind of a heavy box. Okay. So let's unwrap the goodness, right? Let's unwrap. Oh, I know what this is. We're going to put that away for a minute. Okay. More green trays, more wax, more pins, metal tweezers. I got a multi-placer. Yay. I'm going to put that right there. <clears throat> Now, these are the rhinestones that go with the Majestic Unicorn. 
Okay, these are the beads that go with Blue Donkey, which is Eeyore. Okay, this is the rhinestones and the odd-shaped gems that will go with Glorious Feline. She has um, put labels on them. Oh, I don't know what I just dropped. Let's see. <clears throat> Which one did I just drop? Quack, which is going to be Donald Duck. I remember these. I remember. Oh, my goodness. Stars in a walk. Oh, wow. Let's take a look at the canvases. So, Glorious Feline is a rhinestone with odd-shaped gems. And I love cats. Me. It is so cute. I told you, I've, I've gotten into these partials that are rhinestones and odd-shaped gems. And there's a lot of them out there now. And that one is a 30 by 40. Let's take a closer look at Glorious Feline. It is 14 colors. It does have two legends, one there and one here at the bottom, top and bottom. Um, it's very clear. It's very clear. Then we have the beads. And I'm going to do a quick little check. So, she numbered these. These are number eight. Those are our tricks. I'm not sure. And then we have, let's see, here is one. No, that's two. My bad. Oh, I can't read today. All right, one, two. Then here's three, four, five, and six. And there's a purple. Yay. My favorite color. Seven is these are ABs. So that is seven. Here's eight. Let's see, nine, nine of these big red ones. Ten are big blue ones. Eleven. Those are pretty. They're rainbow type. They catch the light. Well, uh, there goes the chirpy toy, the cats in the room. Okay, those are red cat eyes. Thirteen is orange cat eyes. Okay, hi, Squirmy. And, uh, yeah, you see these? Okay, Squirmy's up here. He's checking things out. Okay, Squirmy, really. He wanted to come by and say hello. Goodbye. Go, go, <laughs> go. Yes. Thank you. And off. Oh. <laughs> he doesn't usually want to be around when I am doing a video. So that's unusual. That's some pretty green ones. <laughs> He's over there pouting now. So. She has put a sticker on the beads, on the bead bag. It says Glorious Feline, and it's numbered number two. This is the second one. And I can't tell. I think these she's added electric beads, which is nice. 
So it says Gloria Feline and a two. And you may not be able to see that because of the sun. There you go. And then it's also down here. So that I would know which pack of beads goes with which image. Which is really nice. I like these with the rhinestones. I've just really gotten into them lately. Let's see. Next, we will look at... I'm trying to save the big ones for last. This one is... Just about the same size. There's Quack. Donald Duck. Stained glass Donald Duck. I like that one. 18 colors. I bet there's a lot of black in that uh, package. It's quack, quack. <laughs> Stained glass Donald Duck, basically. And he's cute. He's cute. And he's got Huey, Dewey, and Louie over beside him. And 18 colors. All right. 18 colors. I just want to quickly check the color situation out. Lots of bags. Okay, so and so we're running the spectrum. We're running the reds to magentas into the weird looking color into the blues. So that's one through six. Yay, the DMC number is on the bags. I love that. And I have 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Almost like a rainbow. In 13 through 18. And another pack of 18. There's a lot of black in this picture. So that's cool. It is going to be fun. Crinkle, crinkle, crinkle. Sound of plastic. Okay. All right. I'm going to put this one away. So what I'll do with something this size is get a two-gallon bag put it in just like this and when I get ready to do it I know that the beads are with the canvas. Uh, bigger ones I will sit in a two and a half gallon bag and then the super big ones I usually roll up with the beads and sit them in a bag that of course it can't close though. Oh. Here's AR. And he's precious. Sitting on the clouds. So he's a fool. Quack is a fool. See, there he is. <laughs> um, so here is Eeyore, which is called Blue Donkey. <laughs> Okay, and there are still two legends, and it is 17 colors. It is Eeyore sitting in the clouds with a balloon. Ugh. More bags. <laughs> So, let's see. I'm trying to find where they start. 
Okay. So here's one through five. There's six through ten. Here is eleven through fifteen. Here's sixteen. Here's sixteen. And here's seventeen. So there is no DMC number on them. That's too bad. trying to check it out make sure that everything's looking good with it okay. put these beads back in the bag so I can roll this one up I really think I'm going to make another Die Moon shop. Um, order next month on payday, which is actually March 21st. Majestic Unicorn. This is one of those that looks like it's coming out of a frame. So pretty. This one will be fun to do, and it, it has some odd-shaped gems, too. I like this one because it looks like he's somebody's getting ready to ride him. I just thought it was really cool. So, my majestic unicorn, you can't even see all of that, can you? Ooh, let's see if we can go up a little bit. You'll have to excuse the mess. But yeah. So pretty. So, so pretty. So this one only has one legend. And it is up at the top. There are, there should be 13 different beads. Like I said, these are rhinestones. Oh, I want to see where this really big red one is going. Okay. Sit that over to the side. More baggies. Now there is one big, huge one. And this one is, I do not know why, if it is a red bead, why it would be a blue dot. But it is a big, huge blue dot that I don't see yet. <laughs> oh my. Oh, there it is. Okay, so right there. In the center of this star of whatever's going around his neck, her neck, probably a her. Okay, so it goes right there. All right, so let me look at these. So here are my rhinestones. There's one, just those two packs is number one. And that's all through the hair. That's going to be sparkly. Here's two. Or three. I have this baggie right here. Here is four and five. Six. Let's see. Here is six, seven, and eight. I just love the purple rhinestones, guys. I really don't care what color purple it is. Because I think there's like three different versions of purple right there. So I'm excited about those. 
So that's one through eight. Nine is these blue right, teardrops right there. Ten are stars. I got stars. And they're green. They're light green. Then here is number 11. Number 11 goes right here. And that one is 12, which is one I was looking for, which goes down here. And then 13 are clear teardrops. So, you know, I said in another video, I really, really like the ones that look like they're coming out of the frame. So, I'm excited about these these majestic, glorious looking ones. Because this one is a 40 by 50, so it's good size. It is really good size. So... These are going to be so much fun. I'm, I'm going to be busy this summer, I tell you. Whatever the kids don't do, <laughs> I'm going to be doing. So, all right. And there we go. I'm going to roll this one up. stars in a walk. Wow. This one will be the next one I do after um, after Arms of the Angel by uh, Mandy Manzano. This one will be the very next one I do. Now, that one is large. It is a 60 by 50. Yeah. That one will be over here. I will probably, this is actually Sam. This is my Samantha Jean um, that I found in Auburn, abandoned as a little puppy. Had her for 14 years before she passed away. Um, but this one comes with a black pouch. Stars in a Walk comes with a black pouch. Ooh. And y'all, I do not know if you can pick up the beautiful, beautiful. I, I, I'm just like, wow. Let's see. Let's see if you can see that. Probably not. These are electric beads. They are amazing. And I should have enough electric beads <clears throat> to go around the outline of the dog and put some up in the sky. And just looking at it, the arrow. Looks like probably the arrow um, pointing to the right is where most of them will go. And I'll just uh, sprinkle them in and around the whole dog. And then I will take them up into the sky and just put them here and there. But I'm excited about the electric beads. This is going to be awesome. But I have to finish Arms of the Angel first. So, yeah. Put these back in here. Because they are special. They are special and they get their own pouch. <laughs> so, 
So like now, mm, the pretty one. Stars in a walk. I wish the sun wasn't so bad through the window. I just, I love this, guys. I just absolutely love this. And it is a 60 by 50. And oh my goodness, it has 40 colors. Are you kidding me? Oh, wow. Now there's one legend. There's only one. Get you down in there close. Here you go. Look at this. 40 colors. Whew. My goodness. Hence the big, huge bag. Wow. I cannot wait to do this one. Like I said, it will be next. <laughs> it will be next. Yeah. Okay, well, I am not going to bore you with counting these. I will count these. Um, huh. Like, and then it's going to take me a minute. <laughs> what oh, am I kidding? It's going to take me a good minute to count these. Plus, I have my special ones. Well, yeah, I'm going to sign out of this now. And, oh, here you go. Just in case you've never gotten on diamondshop.com to see stars in a walk. There you go. Try to. There we go. The little girl is holding a leash, looking out across the lake, and it looks like sunset. And there is a outline, kind of a ghostly dog, right here. Right beside the leash. Ooh, it made me cry. Yeah, it made me cry. So, yeah. All right. Well, uh -oh. this is really, really hard. The film is hard to get off of here. Okay. I was checking. I thought it had a bubble, but it doesn't. It doesn't. It was it was just the plastic film. And it seems really hard to get off like it's been warm and it's stuck extra tight to it. But okay, no bubbles. Yay. <laughs> it's just the plastic where the plastic is bubbling to the canvas. But it's good to go. Um so, thank you for viewing my unboxing from Diamond Shop. And thank you for those of you who have subscribed. I hope more of you will subscribe and check it out. And please go to DiamondShop.com. No, they do not pay me. I don't get any type. I am, I am not a... I'm not sponsored by them or anything like that. It's just I love this store. I love their customer service. They are awesome. So I'm going to go and count these beads and sit here and stare at this one for a little bit longer. Y'all have a great, great night. Bye, y'all. <laughs>